Hello and welcome to the Create Bills, Pre-Bills and Adjusting Bills video tutorial for EasyLaw. The Pre-Bills tab in the Create Bills program lets you review and modify the time and disbursement entries selected for billing. The upper part of the screen lists the clients selected for billing and shows the total fees and disbursements on each bill. The lower part of the screen shows the time and disbursement transactions included on each bill. You can also delete bills and print billing reports. When billing a large number of clients in the Create Bills program, manage the bills more easily by filtering by lawyer or by major client using the Set Filter option at the bottom of the Pre-Bills tab. To select time and disbursement entries to include on a bill, click a bill in the upper screen, then click Edit Time or Edit Disbursements. Unbilled time and disbursement entries will display in the lower window. To include an entry on the bill, click its checkbox. To exclude an entry from the bill, clear its checkbox. The fees and disbursement totals for the bill will update to reflect these changes. You can also use Select Deselect All under the lower part of the screen to select more than one transaction. To edit time and disbursement entries on the bill, click a bill in the upper screen, double click a transaction in the lower window to display the edit time or edit disbursement screen. Make your changes as necessary and click Save. Please note that any changes are saved to the client even if you decide not to finalize and print the bill. You will only be able to edit transactions if you have access to the Edit Time and Edit Disbursements posting features. The Adjust Bill option under the Pre-Bills tab lets you enter anticipated disbursements and soft costs. You can also adjust the fee total, the bill total, and disbursement totals by disbursement code. Click a bill in the upper screen and click Adjust Bill. The fees total on the bill displays. If you modify this amount, the total bill amount at the bottom of the Adjust Bill screen will adjust to reflect this change. Click Adjust beside disbursements to modify disbursement totals on the client by disbursement code. Only disbursement codes with code set to group on bills are displayed. Enter the new amount for each disbursement code in the Adjusted Amount column. You cannot enter or delete disbursements in this screen. Click Save to return to the Adjust Bill screen. Click Adjust beside Anticipated Disbursements to add anticipated disbursements to the bill. Select the disbursement code, enter the description of the anticipated disbursement if necessary, and enter the amount or quantity. Click Save. Continuing entering anticipated disbursements or click Exit to return to the Adjust Bill screen. Click Adjust beside Soft Cost to enter Soft Costs. Select the disbursement code, enter the description of the soft cost, and enter the amount or quantity. Click Save. Continuing entering Soft Costs or click Exit to return to the Adjust Bill screen. The total bill amount will display. 
if you modify this amount, the fees, total, and taxes, if necessary, will adjust to reflect this change. Click Exit to return to the Prebills tab or click Reset to undo all adjustments. If the Adjust Bill option is disabled, ensure that the System Settings option Enable Post option in Create Bills is selected. This option must be set to access the Adjust Bill feature. You also have the option to view and print a pre-bill summary report. Print this report to view a summary of the clients on the pre-bills tab before finalizing the bills. The report includes the client information, the fees, disbursements, and taxes on each bill, and the final total. It also includes a balance forward amount showing the amount owing on the client before the current bill was processed. Print this report to ensure bills are correct before entering them on the client. After you have completed your changes, if you wish to remove all of the bills to the Bills tab and skip the Payments tab, select Move to Bills and all bills with a check mark will be moved. You can also move a bill to another tab by clicking its checkbox and using the Move Bill To option in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You select Deselect All under the upper part of the screen to select multiple bills. For example, to move all of the bills to the Payments tab, click Select All and then select Move To Payments. Right-click an individual bill on the Pre-Bills tab to remove it. To restore it to its original values, if you modified time or disbursements, or to move it to another tab. Thank you for watching the Create Bills, Pre-Bills, and Adjusting Bills video tutorial. If you wish to continue with Create Bills and Easy Law to print and save a final bill, Please select the Create Bills Final Bills video tutorial next.